Should we or shouldn't we turn the clocks ahead on March 14th? It does cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. I have found it convenient to have more daylight during the day. Whether you are for it or against it, there's no doubt daylight saving time impacts us all. Whether it's the spring or the fall, I'm always messed up for at least a week. This 60 minute shift to the body's circadian rhythm can increase your risk for a heart attack car crash death or workplace injury more than any other Monday. But making minor adjustments the week before can not only reduce your risk, but also minimize the groggy effects. Getting outside and exercising in the morning can suppress your melatonin production. Put away the pasta this week and opt for more proteins and less carbs. Avoid any caffeinated items four to six hours before bedtime, as well as alcohol. And three days before the transition, start going to bed 15 to 20 minutes earlier each night. I'm Nancy Alvarez reporting.